What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cortez here and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get 360 ways for beginners in 2020. Now, some of you guys probably seen, you know, like 360 wave YouTubers like 360 Jeezy, Sir Cruz, Nick Wavy, and you know, some other wave YouTubers. Now, you probably want your waves to be like theirs. And I'm going to kind of teach you how to get your waves like their like theirs. But before I teach you how, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and also turn up bell so you guys get notified when I upload. And also go follow me on my social media. My social medias will be down in the description box below so be sure to check that out. And without further ado, let's get it. Now if you want to get yourself some nice perfect 360 waves, I suggest first you gotta figure you gotta figure out like what's your hair like. Does your hair curl up when it gets wet? Does it not curl up? Is your hair straight? Because, you know, if your hair is straight and it doesn't even curl up, you are definitely probably not gonna get end up getting waves or you're gonna have a hard time getting waves. Because, you know, waves are just basically laid down curls. But let's just say your hair does get wavy, you know what I'm saying? I would advise you to scalp first. Now, scalping is when you shave off all your hair, you know, and you just got little tiny, you know, fuzzes, fuzz of hair on your head. Like you're starting a fresh new, you know, haircut. And you know, you just gotta, you know, take your soft brush, you need a soft brush because you do not want a hard brush, you know, while scalping because your scalp is just gonna be on fire. But you wanna take your soft brush and brush like you have 360 waves. Like, you know, brush it down, brush the sides, brush the other sides and you know, brush the back and then put put a do-rag on. You wanna train your hair first while your hair is growing back. Basically, you gotta train your hair like soon as it's growing up, almost like a kid, you know? Also, I forgot, you're gonna also need to learn your angles. There are, you know, you can go watch videos on how to get your angles and simple stuff like that, but you need to know your angles, you know? Like this, I got a soft brush because I cut my hair not too long ago and it's still short. I don't need a hard brush yet. But you know, just gotta, for me, my head, I just, you know, brush down the uh, top and the side, I go in at the sides, I come down. You know, other side, come down. And make sure I get the little corners at near the top. And then, you know, I come in the back, you know, I brush the back down. And you know, you just gotta get your angles down. You can go watch videos on that. I'm probably gonna do a video uh, soon. I don't know when about angles, but yeah, you gotta target your angles. So I would go look up somebody's video and, t and you gotta, you know, just look up somebody's video so they can teach you about angles when getting, you know, 360 waves. I also forgot to mention, you need some products. Like you can use curly hair products you can use wave products or you can just use you know regular grease and stuff but you know using regular grease and oils that's gonna make your that's gonna be harder really hard to get waves you have to put a lot of time in it that's what I did one time and it took me it took me I'll probably say a month or two months and a half but you know I got there but you know, if I'm using like regular old Cantu or something, it's gonna take me about, I'd probably say like three, three or two weeks just to get waves. Because you know, before I cut off my hair, I used to have curly hair, so my hair is used to curling up and stuff. But now it's just, you know, it's easier. It's like laying down easier and it's waving up easier. Cause I used to have curly hair. And as you can see, my top is already coming in slowly but surely sides coming in tiny bit but they're coming in i just got to keep brushing them taking care of them and yeah so you need to go out get yourself some products you know get, get what you like some can too or protein gel or pomade whatever appeals to you and whatever you like and whatever can curl up your hair now you're gonna need a do-rag i advise you just get a do-rag from the dollar store this is a plain old regular do-rag that costs around a dollar or two. Get that for now, use that for now. And if you wanna be a wave fanatic, you know, 
go off of Amazon or go onto a YouTuber's website and you know buy your buy your do rags. But I advise you just to, just to get the regular old dollar store do rag. It helps. It helps. Now that's the basic fundamental of it right there. Now say soon, like after a couple months, your hair is like not a couple months. Like say after one month, your hair turns out like mine. Now you're still obviously going to be using your soft brush. I have a soft brush right here. And you know, you still got to, you still got to put some brushing in, into it. Also, I forgot to mention to you, you're going to need to wash out your hair too. I know it's going to erase some of your progress in your waves, but don't worry. You'll get that progress back. I'll probably say wash out your hair about, eh, I'll probably say about the end of two weeks. The end of two weeks or, you know, every Friday of a week. That'll probably be the best for you. It's, it's, it's your hair, it's whatever you want. As for me, I usually like to do mine around like every Friday. Yep, every single Friday. I do lose some progress, but you know, it's, it's worth it in the end. I'm still gonna get my waves, regardless. But anyway, as I was saying, let's say if you got hair like mine, you're obviously gonna use a soft brush, and you know you get your angles down. You put your uh, Cantu in it, or oils, or pomade and stuff like that. And you just need to keep on brushing. You need to brush. You just need to brush in general. Like you got, you got to brush. You got to brush in the morning. You got to brush in the evenings. You got to brush at night. It's crazy. You gotta put a lot of brush sessions. I can't even say the word. A lot of brush, brush sessions, in into it. That's what I was be doing. When I found my, when I find myself doing nothing, I just take the brush, look in the mirror, brush my hair, get my angles, and uh, yeah. Let's say if your hair gets longer than mine, and you still want to keep your waves, you don't want to cut them yet. Then you will go on to a hard bristle brush this is hard this is all basically a hard bristle brush bristle brush and this is soft this one's really soft ignore this side this side this side is all messed up I just like using this side because these are these are nice and soft but this is a hard brush hard bristle brush now once my once I had a uh, what's it called, I had an all around fade and my waves at the top were long. I would use this brush and to brush them out, and my waves would also get really deep too, because my hair was getting long. And so I always use this brush. I had to stop using this one because this one didn't do nothing at all, but this one did once my hair get longer. So if I have, so if I'm keeping this hair, I'm sooner or later gonna have to switch to this brush, and you know start brushing it and using it once it gets longer. Now, that's basically almost all the fundamentals to getting waves right there. If you want what's it called, 360 waves, here you go. The video I made for you. Now. If you want like a different style waves, I think there's like 720 waves or something, 780 waves or something like that. Now you're gonna have to do some stuff differently. You're gonna have to do different angles to get those type of waves. Now you guys can go obviously look up a YouTube video about that, but those waves be looking crazy. But they look good though, I ain't gonna lie, they look good. But yeah, I advise you to start scalping first and as soon as your hair starts to grow back it's going to be trained your hair is going to be trained i'm telling you that's like taking a newborn puppy and raising it you're going to end up training it you know what i'm saying as soon as it grows up scalping using a small uh a soft brush you know laying get laying down your hair for once it comes in you know what i'm saying you know, put your products on it, and then you know, get a, a do rag or a skull cap or a, a dome cap or whatever. Put it on your head. Then after that, your waves shall soon come. Soon as your hair starts growing back, long as you put in the brush work, put in that brush work. Brush in the morning. Brush in the evenings. Brush at night. 
you got to brush a lot. I'm telling you right now. But I don't mean to brush like a lot where your scalp is just turning red. Don't, don't push yourself. But you know, just brush. That's all you got to do. And that's what I'm basically doing. And my waves are starting to come in already. I just brush in the morning. I brush in the evenings. I brush at night. And my waves are starting to come in slowly, but surely. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, that's a basic tutorial for, you know, 2020 starting off a new year. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys think and tell me if you guys are going to start over on your waves. Tell me if you guys are going to shave off your head and do scalping first. I would really want to know y'all's opinion. What are y'all going to do first? But anyway, with that being said, I am out. See ya.